Are you happy with your soybean yields the last several years? Are you getting yields that you believe are 15, 20 bushels less than what they should be? If you are, you want to watch the rest of this video because we're going to talk about soybean cyst nematode and the impact that I believe it's having on soybean yield. I am looking at cysts. They're small, yellow, lemon shaped, about the size of a pinhead. These are the uh, females that are protruding outside of outside of the the hair roots, and they're full of about no oh, 200 or so eggs that will uh, hatch as soon as they drop off the root and then reinfect. This is very early. We planted these soybeans May 9th, and we're talking about just a month later, June 7th, and we're seeing these cysts. We talked in our last video the fact that we want to avoid the big one when it comes to something coming in and hurting either our corn yield or our soybean yield. And I'm talking soybeans today. I think the big one potentially uh, in this dry pattern that we've been in the last few years is the impact of soybean cyst nematode on the varieties that we're planting because the resistance that we're using, the PI-88-788, is failing. Um, and it's been out there for 40 years. We've been using this source of resistance for the last 40 years and it's just run out. We need to go to some more Peking. We need to look at some other um, seed treatment type options. We are constantly looking at companies trying their products out here at the uh, at the research uh, plot uh, to improve yield. And uh, well, we have a lot of products out here this year. Can't wait to show you uh, when we have meetings uh, later on. Okay, again, looking at fields, and this is um, more typical of what you see with IDC uh, in those lower areas. And you look at the middle part, when you start getting that intense brown, if I see lime green, I think you know they're going to come out of it but when you've got that intense brown those beans aren't going to come out of it those are bullseyes and I would say the cyst is contributing to this stress you know you're not getting iron up it's been dry you got two or three stresses what I call field stress load contributing to these fields that look so intensely yellow this year the yellowing right along the fence rows like this it's not necessarily in the traditional low areas. This is where I've been finding quite a bit of soybean cyst nematode. There's some pretty brown areas in there that I don't think are going to come out of it either. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, we've shown several fields. It's pretty obvious now that we're dealing with something pretty significant. Uh, the big one this year in soybeans, from a yield hit standpoint, could be soybean cyst nematode. What do we do for next year? I believe that we have to start looking at more Peking uh, soybean resistance. Uh, there are some varieties uh, out there, not as many, over 90% of the varieties are the PA88, 788, but we need to start looking at the Peking. And um, we'll be, as the season goes on, we'll be giving you some of those um, suggestions and some of those, some of my thoughts on which ones to go with. With that, Dan Bjorklund, Landis Agronomy, signing off.